Hello and welcome to this latest edition of ESPN Crick Info Weekly. Jason Gillespie was part of a golden age of cricket for Australia in a bowling lineup that included the likes of Shane Warne and Glenn McGrath. In recent years, Australia hasn't been as blessed with talent, but according to Dizzy, who is embarking on a coaching career with Yorkshire, there's some promising signs. Here he is with Dan Williams. Jason, you retired from playing the game in 2008. How do you look back at your career? I loved every moment of my first class career. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to represent my country, um, play for uh, my home state, South Australia, for many years, and also have opportunities to play um, county cricket. Now, out of all the achievements that you managed with Australia, what stands out more than any other? Everyone expects uh, answers to be, you know, personal achievements and, um, you know, the wickets taken or runs scored or, or things like that. But the things that stand out for me are a lot of off-field stuff, celebrating a win or, um, you know, I'll never forget um, in India in 2004 when, when we beat India, Australia first team in 36 years to beat India in India and just the feeling in the dressing room, you know, just sitting there and, uh, you know, blowing the froth off a couple, it was uh, pretty special. Now that bowling attack of yourself, Glenn McGrath, Shane Warne, Brett Lee, it's kind of widely regarded as one of the best bowling attacks of all time. How do you look back at that? Oh, look, look with a lot of, a lot of wonderful memories for sure. You know, it was something special. I suppose to have my name uh, associated with that team um, and that, those bowlers uh, is pretty awesome and uh, pretty humbling. Yeah. Now, as a bowler, was there one particular batsman that you wanted to get out more than any other? Yeah, oh, look, no doubt. Um, you know, I, I, I say Brian Lara. Um, the way he could change the tempo of a batting innings was just unbelievable to watch. Uh, just you just sit there as a bowler, and you know you, had, you couldn't do anything but just acknowledge that you you're getting beaten by a, a very, very good creator. Now, take you back to 2005. Was that Ashes series your darkest moment as a player? Well, it was probably disappointing because I, I wasn't achieving what I set out to achieve, and um, you know, no matter what I did, I, I couldn't quite get my skills right, um, and I got dropped. And that's just that's how it happens, and that's how it has to happen. Um, yes, I was disappointed in my own performance. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're in a business where you have to perform day in day out and be consistent, and I wasn't very consistent. And you know, it wasn't through lack of effort or trying. I just couldn't get it right. Let's forward wind to the present day. Mickey Arthur is the current coach of Australia, a South African. What do you make of that? Look, I, I, uh, I, I don't. I can't really speak about him as a coach. I don't really, uh, don't really know Mickey. But um, you have to applaud Cricket Australia for um, making a decision to appoint a foreign coach. I hadn't done that in the past, and it just seems a very happy unit that Australian uh, set up. And obviously, Mickey's in charge of that unit, uh, along with Michael Clark, and he must be doing something right. You excited for the future of Aussie cricket now? Very. Uh, seeing the, um, the, these new faces come into the batting lineup, you know, we've seen in the last uh, 12 months in the Test side, we've seen Sean Marsh come in and make a great hundred on Dubu uh, in Sri Lanka. Uh, Davy Warner has come in, uh, a, a player who I think is just. A wonderful cricketer, um, and then seeing, you know, the old heads there, um, Clarkie, Ricky, and uh, and Huss uh, perform well, and then obviously the bowling attack, uh, being a former quick, that uh, gets you pretty excited, and seeing all these young guys come through. Tashi's year next year. Do you feel Australia can go over to England and win back the urn? Certainly, yeah, absolutely. The the, the cricket they're playing now. Just that, and they look like they're really enjoying themselves as well, which, which I suppose is easy to do when you're having some success. It's easy to enjoy it, but they really look like a close-knit group, um, you know, under Michael Clark and Mickey Arthur, and you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to. Any chance of a Glenn McGrath type prediction? No, I'll leave that to Glenn. I'm I'm sure in the lead up to the Ashes, uh, the big fella will come out with some uh, big statements that he normally does, but he normally backs them up quite well. Uh, big pitch. But look, I, I just look forward to seeing some really good cricket. I, I think it's going to be a huge, huge series and uh, I just can't wait for it to uh, get underway. The Ashes will start in June 2013 with the Riverside Ground in Durham hosting one of the five tests. 
That's all for this edition of ESPN Crick Info Weekly. Keep up to date on your PC, laptop, phone or tablet with all the news, views and analysis from around the world of cricket. Bye for now.